welcome to Toronto Real Estate with Riaz Rauf. Uh, today we are in the middle of uh, November in the second week and today I'll be presenting to you uh, how we perform in the month of October compared to a year ago with October. Apart from that I will do a quick summary of how we performed and then we will touch base with the good, the, the positives that are coming out of the market as well as the concerns that we have in certain categories and certain areas of the market as well as how the trend would continue for 21 and beyond. Now, let's look at how we performed in the month of October comparing with last year October. Our sales volume went up by a staggering 25.1% and the prices appreciated by 13.7%. When I say 13.7% average price appreciation, the price went up to 968,000 from 852,000 a year ago. That's the good news. Now let's look at how it impacted the different categories. The detached home prices appreciated by 15% and the semi-detached prices appreciated by 10%. Townhomes appreciated by 10.5% and then coming into condos which has been a lot of speak a lot of people have been talking about condos, a lot had been written, a lot has been analyzed about it. Let's give the figures out. When you look at the condos in the 905 area, the prices appreciated by 6.8%. However, when you look at the 416 area, the prices appreciated only by 0.7%, which is an extremely disappointing appreciation compared to the financial district and the 01 and 08 area in downtown. Having told that, let's also understand what is meant by the inventory buildup and what markets we are in. Any market that has zero to four months of inventory is a seller's market, benefiting the sellers. Any market that had four to six months inventory is a balanced market and anything more than six into seven or eight months of inventory is a buyer's market where the buyers are benefiting. Now let's see where overall the inventory levels are. When we look at the York region, the inventory is only 1.9 month stocks in the market. Peel region has only one month inventory. Halton region has 1.1 month inventory. And Durham, the hot properties in Durham, where everybody is moving into Durham, the inventory is only less than one month, 0 0.7 months of inventory that is that we have. All these markets are in seller's market where the sellers are benefiting. Now let's look at Toronto. Toronto has 2.5 months of inventory. 2.5 is still in a seller's market. However, it is getting moving towards a balanced market. Now, before going further, let's take, let's address the issues and let, let's take the elephant out of this room. Let's have a, have a look at what's happening in 416 area in downtown and more so specifically in the downtown core area where the financial district is. Now, if we analyze Bay Street window, if we look at Bay Street in 01 area, the number of sales of units between October last year and October this year was minus 37%, which is a drop a staggering drop of minus 37% in sale of units in that location. On the other hand, there is also a lot of inventory that's been built up or supplies coming into the market because a lot of people who are put out or people who are losing out on rent and leases are putting out on sale. And the number of inventory exceeds eight months of inventory in this location, which is the Bay Street Corridor. Remember, I'm only talking to you about the only issue that we have in the real estate area and that's condos in the downtown core area. So you're not alarmed about other areas. The stock buildup is 8.3 month stock, which means effectively we are already in a buyer's market where buyers and investors will be moving in fast and making some good bargains and buying out. What that leaves for you and me is because we were not even promoting downtown properties long time for a long time because 
people could not afford and people could not break in to get leases out of it. However, now these properties are going to go at a bargain. Between now and February, I expect between 5 to 8 or maybe even 10% drop in the prices. And those are extremely good times where we can pick up some properties because this trend is not going to continue. In my personal opinion, come April, May, there would be a vaccine for Corona. The tourism is going to be back. People are going to come back to work. The interest rates are going to stay low. The immigrants are going to come in. Canada is going to welcome 401,000 immigrants next year. And also, Airbnb is going to be back. So with all that put together, Downtown Core is going to have a resurgence again, probably starting in May, June area next year. So if you are planning to buy something as investors, investors become wealthy buying in a down market. So they are always looking out and give us a call. We'll always guide you. And these are good opportunities that are available for you. Coming on to another subject on this, uh, what's, the out, what's the take from this? Now, first question is, if we are finding it difficult to buy a property for ourselves, how difficult is it going to be to our children and to our next generation? At the moment, the interest rates are so low. If I tell you something, you laugh out. The fact is, the interest rate is as low as 1.7%. While your child's student loan, they are paying at 6% interest at the moment. That's crazy. They haven't reduced the interest rate on the student loan, but the mortgage rate is 1.6%. Now, this is an ideal opportunity for you to use up your equity buildup, get some money out, think of doing some investment in areas that are opening up. It could be the downtown core in February or March when it opens up and when the prices are going down or anywhere else. Look at the bigger picture. Now I told you the prices appreciated by 13.7% during the COVID in Toronto. That's basically from 852,000 to 968,000. It's almost 112,000 appreciation in one year. This could be your retirement saving that allows you to maintain a lifestyle that you have been continuing and leave back a legacy for your grandchildren and your children. This is what I would like to speak to you. And please give me a call on 647-283-1966. Thank you very much for investing your time with us. Riaz Rauf, a household name. Thank you. Household name, Riaz Ralph, Rushdie Ralph.